It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood and welcome back to my channel guys. Uh, today I'm coming at you with a video uh, retesting some failed products. Um, so like the Estee Lauder double wear something. Um, the NYX out, what is these? The NYX sunglasses. Shine loud. Um, so I am, so I am going to be testing some makeup, um, I'm going to be test, I'm going to be testing makeup products that are a fail and or just didn't work for me. Um, so if you want to see how that looks, just continue to keep watching. But before we go, don't forget to, uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and hit the thumbs up button if you like videos um that are similar to this that i can do um so yeah let's go so i'm going to go ahead and i am going to prime with the elf um matte putty primer because even i just did a video about this but even though i said that this was supposed to be or eve it said that it's supposed to be matte um it is not and it looks kind of weird on my skin well still look shiny on my skin uh, so yeah I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm not gonna put it all over just in places where I would like to be a little bit more matte so which is across my forehead and right here kind of in the center As you can see, this is kind of white, so I'm trying to be careful and not use too much. And then my chin. I'm down around here. So, the T zone. Everywhere else, I'm okay with leaving it like that. The first product up uh, that is a fail or should not have been made is the Milk Makeup uh, Electric Glossy Lip Plumper. <clears throat> oh, what just happened to my my voice? But it's the Glossy Lip Plumper that has Szechuan peppers in it. Don't ask me why I got it. It, it just intrigued me. But um, doesn't plump my lips anywhere. Uh, it just burns. So... We're going to go ahead and see. I'm going to put this on first and let it sit. And you can taste the pepper corn, like the Szechuan peppers in it. You can taste it. Before I put this on, I did have on my Laneige lip mask, which I always put on after I wash my face. So that's on. It already feels like it's burning like up here instead of like around my lips, but whatever. <sighs> We're going to continue to keep going. So I'm back. Um, I was on and we're on to um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup but SPF 19. Um, I'm just shaking it up because it is very liquidy. And of course, I don't want this go ahead here. and use my very dense brush here. Um, this is the Morphe M439, and I took that much because I do remember that a little bit went a long way because it's so liquidy. this was a fail is because um one okay so it looks like it's my color because of sheer um but I had it all over my face I didn't feel like it was my color um but also because it did not back up any of its claims actually a little does not go a little spreads a long way on the face but it doesn't go a long way when it comes to the dish or on the brush that makes sense but 
to me this was a fail because it just it didn't stand up to any of its claims of being matte um, or even being long wearing um, I think it was even supposed to be transfer resistant and it is not <laughs> or at least humidity resistant um, or at least humidity resistant and I can't say that I think that it is like this is my second time trying it we're going to see this is also to kind of revisit to see how I would like it um, yeah let's see if I actually like it this time got it This looks kind of red, but it's okay. It's, I still look, it looks greasy. I still feel that way. It still really looks greasy. Um, alright, we're going to let that sit and go on with the rest of the face. Um, next up, I'm not going to say it's a fail, but this is definitely a product that I don't really reach for. Um, and it creases pretty bad on me. And this is controversial, so, because everyone likes it, but it is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Everyone likes it. Everyone loves it. Like, a lot of people rave about it that I have watched over the years. Um, but I don't reach for it. I did notice that it really did crease. And yeah, I don't know. So we're just going to see. Um, my under eyes is very moisturized at the moment. So let's see if that's the case. Ooh, and I left a whole patch up here. Why don't y'all tell me? So let's go ahead and see how this does for me this time. use a brush and a beauty blender I think because the first time I used this I used my brush which I'm not opposed to that like I do like my brushes so let's see here Um, so far, so this side, I'm gonna use the brush under my eyes. I think that blended nicely. I don't think it doesn't like like it doesn't blend. That's not the issue. I just think that it creases really bad on me. So yeah. And this side I'm going to go ahead and blend up with the beauty blend or the beauty sponge.
Rose Concealer is that you can let sit. <laughs> it blends out better with the brush to me. Yeah. Um, so this eye, I feel like it covered more. This side, I feel like it didn't, but I'm not going to blame the concealer. I feel like it also could have been the sponge. So we're just going to put a little bit more there. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with the brush. Alright, so there that goes. It doesn't look that bad. Um, And none of this looks bad on camera. Um, I'm only calling some of these fails because they just did not work for me or did not stand up to the claims that they had. That's the only reason why I am holding them to task. Um, so yeah, take whatever is left over on my brush. And just use that as primer for my eyelids. And we're going to go into something that I truly believe is a fail for me. And that is the Colored Rain Berry Cutie. Um, so it's going to be hard for me to open this. Because there's actually a shade. I don't know if you can see that. This shade right here at the top. It's broke. Um, I've never dropped this palette that I'm aware of. Uh, but it's broke. When I opened it the first time last night, it was fine. I closed it, I opened it again, and it wasn't fine. So, alright, so. The reason why I feel like this is a fail is, one, I feel like the colors weren't that pigmented. And two, this, for me, this is not a cohesive color story. Like... I don't really get it um I feel like if you're new to makeup and like this is your first palette and you go and pick this up you're just going to be like what am I supposed to do with this so I'm going to go ahead and retry this see what I come up with so yeah I look so greasy I just look greasy I'll set my face later but I just look so greasy all right so I'm going to start out with Kissberry right here. And this was one of the palettes that you could pick up at Target. Um, so yeah. Just going to pop that into my crease as the transition color. Um, so what I can say is that like dipping the brush into the shadows, you do get some fallout into the pan, which it's whatever. You know, if that bothers you, it bothers you, but it doesn't bother me any. Um, so we're just going to build up this color. Um, uh, also building up color. I'm not a person that really has an issue building up color um I don't mind that because that means that uh, you can control it a little bit more if you're not used to like blending hard to blend colors or whatever um so yeah however what do I feel like is just like building up just like right here where I like place the color initially um could just be me We're going to see on this side. So, placing it right there and but blending at the same time. So, it doesn't really blend out bad. I do feel like it kind of 
patched right there at the beginning, but that's fine. You just, just gotta blend it out and just know that wherever you place the color, where most of the color impact is going to be. So I'm going to switch to a smaller brush to get into my crease and I'm going with the Morphe M506 here. And I'm going in with the darker color Loverberry. Let's see if I can hold that as well. It's this dark color right here. I am so scared that that color is going to just fall out and slosh everywhere. Um, and place this right here. Just to darken up the outer corner and crease. This darker color, I feel like, isn't budging. What I can say is that it is not patchy. Like, at all. It's not patchy. But again, one of those palettes that you have to build up the color. Not 100% mad at that. Um, but I still don't care for the color story. Um, especially if you're like a beginner and you're just looking at this like, what am I supposed to do with all of these colors? Just doing a simple eye today. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys with figuring out a look. I'll come back once I get these eyes to look the same. And yeah. All right, so why do I feel like the color <laughs> is like getting lighter and lighter on my face? Like, I mean, on my eyes. We're just gonna move on. So I'm going to go in with the purple shade that's in here. And we're going to go ahead and pack that onto the lid. It's a pretty jewel toned color. I'm not experiencing any fallout, which is awesome. Okay, so the shimmer gave me the color payoff that it pretty much said that it was going to, and I appreciate that. The mattes in this, hmm, still not feeling too much. Oh. Why do I feel like right here I can see my skin? Right here. Oh. I don't know what's happening. Alright, I guess. Ooh. That's weird. All right, I, are you as close to my face as is comfortable for me? Um, but uh, is just going through and blending that out. Because I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes. So that that can't be said that that is an issue. 
So the purple one didn't do crazy fallout, but that pink one, I definitely did get fallout right there. But whatever. Um, let me go ahead and finish up the lower lash line, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. This, I still feel the tingle on my lips. So, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off. And they did absolutely no plumping, as we can tell. And so I'm going to go ahead and go in with these right here, which were a fail for me. But I'm going to give it another try. These were an epic fail for me. But let's go. I remember these being so sticky and just not fun. So I just try to go off a little bit. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and blend out with no not that one. I'll blend out with the little Morphe one here. Yeah. Even this is like sticking as I'm trying to like blend it up. These are so sticky. So when you're wearing this, and I'll top wear for a minute because I don't want this to get gloopy. I'm trying to give it the best of luck. Um, but even wearing this, you can feel it drying on your lips. And so they say let that dry. And you can see it is drying. And then once you feel like it's dry, you go on top of it with this grease, because this is what this felt like. You see, I didn't dip into it again. It looks, they look gorgeous. Like you put on that, that and then it all just shines. Oh, so this could, that this could be the business, but it's not. Um, and, and even putting this on, I even had to put that on the inside of my lips um, because it still felt so sticky and tacky even on the inside of my lips. I still just really don't like this. <laughs> um, and now this just feels like a grease slick. No, and I have other lip glosses and they don't feel like this. So. I don't even want to put on lashes today so I'm going to go ahead and see have the Sharon the Uma Beauty by Sharon C mascara which when I did the review of the whole line this just wasn't it so let's see what I can do now Yeah, see that like I stuck like on my lower lash line and I have cleaned this brush off like look at how gloopy it is in there and I didn't dip back in there either
I just keep trying to wipe the brush off. So this is my lash with one coat of the mascara on it. And this is doesn't have anything on it yet. And I am a two coat lash girl. So Alright, so this is a finished look. Um my lips still feel just My lips still just feel like a grease, a grease slick. Um, my face is still getting very oily. I'm not sure what's going on with that. <laughs> like, and I'm not an oily person. You see, I did like the mattifying powder or the mattifying um, primer, and then I even set my face with powder, and I still feel like. It just looks greasy all around in here, and it makes my eyebrows start to get greasy. So, and I am not overly greasy at all. This lipstick doesn't feel good on my lips. Um, eyeshadow doesn't look too bad. Um, but I do feel like you can no longer see the transition color at all, and like, you're barely seeing the dark out here. On this eye, sure. This eye, like, where did it go? Concealer. Settling into lines, but whatever. You should expect that when you have lines under your eyes. Yeah. Um, this color of the foundation. Yeah, I'm so... Uh, I'm not with this foundation. Um... I still don't like the NYX Shine Loud Lip, whatever these are. I still don't like them. Um, I tried. My lips just feel like a oil slick, and it's running. I didn't even notice that. It's running, and it's still running. So the gloss is like running down, like drool just dribbling down my lips so there's that um mascara sorry about that as i was saying this mascara is a dryer formula which i'm okay with that um so is my uh voluminous last lash paradise by um l'oreal that's a dryer formula too especially once you like the first time you take it out of the tube it feels a little wet but like once you use it again, it's more of a dryer formula. This straight out the tube is a dryer formula. Um, like even upon first application, which I used the last time. And what it's doing is that it's clumping the lashes together. Um, so, yeah, like and you're not getting like the separation. Like wherever you put that at, it doesn't really comb through. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, and... Like, the brush just is gloopy. And you see, even at, like, the tip of the brush, there's, like, so much gloop on there. And then when you go to wipe it off, like, you can see the clumpness on it. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I wish you could. Um, but, yeah, it... And then all in here is, like gross from just trying to wipe it off and this is only my second time using this so that goes to show you how much i tried to like wipe the stuff off and my face is so oily anyways these are still fails for me um this um this eyeshadow palette i'm not sure why i feel like the colors in that is a magician because they just like poof actually they might be a wizard they disapparated on my eyeball like where did it go where besides the shimmer where did it go somebody tell me um so yeah um i hate to be a pooper on a video um but it is what it is 
I still use some of the products that I love. Um, and you guys know that because you guys see it all the time. So, with that being said, if these are some of your favorite products, great. <laughs> they just didn't work for me personally. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, that's the end of this video. I don't want to keep going on about something that I don't like. So, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these uh, fail try videos. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. That sounds about right. Whatever. Um, if you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe that button. Leave a comment down below on something else that you want to see. And until next time, y'all. Bye.